I love seeing new games. I mean, someone's super excited about that man on PC, right? Yeah! So, E3 was a thing. It was. <laughs> oh, th th this isn't part of that. We're, 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 like, we didn't find E3. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. But if anyone watches this based on a algorithm, uh, please watch our other shit, because we put a lot of work in. We, what? The last thing we put up. <laughs> a surprising <laughs> amount of work. Yeah, a horrifying amount of work, frankly. As we'll probably have gotten into these by the time I'm done with them. Probably. Welcome to our thoughts. Yeah. So, so, so who are we talking about today? I guess let's just do it in chronological order. Because we really want to shit on EA. Like, ah. Uh, oh. Oh boy. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> but welcome everybody to EA Play. I'm Andrew Renee. So we're just going to cut straight to the conference because they did how many hours of pre-press conference press event? Oh, I don't, this was it. Like We even started late because we were intentionally trying to miss most of that shit. Well, we... no. Like, we did miss most of that shit, but we just know... It, like, I, I saw some of that shit. And it was boring. Yeah. And they were talking about mobile games and that kind of oh, shit. Yay. But so EA being shit comes then. So they started with with an Anthem VR thing that we we didn't actually see. No. We saw a, a brief summary of it and it looked stupid. And then they went straight into Battlefield 5 and revealed that no, there was a battle royale. <laughs> You'll get something I know a lot of you have been asking for. Mm hmm. It's Royale. Because <laughs> you know, there's. I mean, I think I'd found out about this a little bit before, uh, um, and it's just been met with the same. Uh, uh, okay. Cool. I guess that's the thing now. Yeah, because it is the thing. It's definitely the thing. No, I know. I just and I it's definitely gonna die the as the thing. Mm -hmm. Very quickly die. It's not living life. No, there's like zombies in survival modes and shit like that, which ironically is originally how Fortnite started. Mm. It was originally as like a, a group survival, survival crafting game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and then then people saw players on their battlegrounds being big. And they were like, ooh, let's do that. And it fucking worked. Yeah. Really worked. Um, but, but we're getting distracted here by... by yeah, they game. didn't even talk about Fortnite, no. unlike everyone else at E3. And, um... But yeah, so so they started with Battlefield Five, and they revealed the Battle Royale and Destructible... Scenery, oh, who I want that thing that fucking cares. Yeah, no, more than that, though, is they did that in Battlefield Bad Company. More than that, that was the whole selling point of those that's games. how they started their fucking press conference. Yes, yeah. well, we've got a thing that you could do in the PS2 game Red Faction. Woo! Cool, okay, progress. <laughs> Thanks, EA. So then they moved on to their biggest success story. Of the last, <laughs> I would know where this is going. Punch Star time. Wars Battle the Battle Hole. Yeah. Star, Star Wars Battle <laughs> Hole. Two. <laughs> Babelfon. Babelfish. Oh, that'd be great. Star Trek Babelfish Five. But so so so, what was that big announcement? I'm really happy and excited to be here today, so thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, the, we're, we're gonna tr keep trying to find ways to make us not dicks. <laughs> and clearly we didn't get it quite right. We got Ewoks now! There's Ewoks and General Gravy Booze. <laughs> that was what everyone wanted. Yeah, like... <laughs> that was it. Shit game. They put General Grievous in it. Got to again. <laughs> yeah, the best Star Wars character. He's my favourite Star Wars villain, Joe. 
<laughs> Any game without him is not complete. Did you see his eye gunk? Oh, with the oh in the imagine the oh. Oh, oh Lucas, you genius. And you I, fucking genius boy. But in their first <laughs> in their first new game announcement of the night. And it's gonna be about as exciting and uh, me announcing it as it was in their actual fucking press oh, junket. This, yeah. And I just happened to find Mr. Vince Ampella here in the audience from Respawn. What's going on, Vince? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I love this stuff. <laughs> it's it's called Jedi Fallen Order. And you can play as a Jedi. And that During that means the fall of the Jedi Order. Yeah, and that means you'll have a lightsaber. <laughs> a lightsaber, Charlie. I know. I, I, I wish that the way we said that wasn't strikingly similar to their reveal. Yeah. <laughs> you want to just get right to it? Sure. I mean, we're not ready to show all of our stuff yet. We're working on a bunch of stuff. It's amazing. The teams are kicking ass. But we wanted to bring a little tidbit so we've been working with Lucas on getting the name and kind of the setting for what our Star Wars game is going to be, and we're going to talk about it right now. Oh, you guys got any guesses? I bet you the, the internet is going wild right now. I hope so. <laughs> so the Star Wars name is Jedi Fallen Order. Woo! So Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, so it kind of gives you some idea that you'll be playing a Jedi. Right. So, does that mean I get to, like, hold a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying not to, not to give too many details here, because I can't remember them, because I wasn't actually that interested, but... <laughs> but you play as a Jedi, and, and a first for video games. Right. You have a lightsaber. Oh, fung. <laughs> oh, man. Dude just looked fucking, like, so awkward. It's, it's new YouTube, we're not allowed to swear anymore. Oh, funk sticks. Oh, kibbles. Between three and four. Okay, all right, between three and four, that sounds like a nice time. You got it, uh, any other tidbits? No? It's not a nice... It's a dark time. It's a dark time. <laughs> Bad time. Does that mean it's going to just be all dark and serious? It's amazing. <laughs> what happened next? What the fuck happened next? <laughs> to the one with the list. <laughs> I know, but I, EA, I didn't write down in order because I, rem I remembered most of them and I didn't care about any of them. I think it was after that was when they actually had like the two or three interesting things they had. Yes, that was then. Yeah. So then they had Unraveled 2. That's what it was called. I was going to call it Tethered 2. <laughs> that would be slightly different. Yeah. It's <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> I hit keys, but I wanted to go for like the bound, like. Wow. So, Unravel 2, which is fucking cute. It looked fun if, like, not a bit limited. Yeah, but, I like, it's probably a short game. Yeah. Probably like four hours or so, I would have to guess. Seems about right for that. It, it seems well, like. Well, you a know, a, but according to Angry Joe, four hours means it's an awful game. Because that's the only way that you can measure quality. I is by time. I did forget the words of thanks the Messiah. Thanks, Joe. Oh yeah, thanks for fucking cutting me off. <laughs> Should I go again? No. <laughs> cool. That's how we've essentially designed all the problems and puzzles of the game, that you're always working together and helping each other out and utilizing this bond between you. But yeah, so Unravel 2 looks good. Yeah. And even better, look to see of solitude. Yeah. The loneliness cuts me and touches my soul. I know I kind of like this. Yeah. But this was the this was the part of the show where people who actually cared about anything in life were on stage. Like game devs. Yeah. People who are actually making the games. The humans. Is what is what they're called. Mm. Real humans. Yeah. Genuine peoples. 
and and it was really surprising to see it, EA. I'm pretty excited, maybe a little too excited. <sighs> I know, I was genuinely not like expecting it or ready for it or or any of that. It, it made me quite scared, actually. With good reason. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, one of your favourite fucking RTS <laughs> games was about to be cast asunder. Oh, wait, was that how they immediately followed it? Yeah, that was how they followed uh, the the lovely, fucking interesting, ghibli no, looking... I, I, I thought they had sports first. Starting with Madden NFL, back on the PC for the first time in over a decade. <laughs> then FIFA 19. I'm ready for this moment. And I really love the trailer because it captures our epic vision for how the Champions League comes to life in FIFA 19. As you know, the heart and soul of FIFA is gameplay. And also, of course, we're extremely excited for everybody to play it when we launch on September 28th. Oh yeah, I, I didn't write down any sports because I don't care about... Oh yeah, no, that was it. They had fucking Madden. Yeah. No, no, oh, no God, not that just that. kid. Yeah, not just that, is they spent like a good like five or ten minutes with a mini documentary about some little fuckboy who thinks that playing mad I was going to call it FIFA then because it's the same thing. Playing Madden is like a skill. Oh fuck! Oh, it's, it's... <laughs> wait. Is is this sports esports? It's it, it's it is sports esports. Sports esports. <laughs> who got that belt made? Yeah. Uh, why do you have you can't esports should be non-sports I love the idea of sports esports yeah no I suddenly I, I, I thought you were just saying like sports esports but no now I oh god oh Oh god, you can you could cut the awkward with a butter knife. <laughs> you could cut her a baseball bat. <laughs> Kid look like fucking Joffrey. You don't even watch Game of Thrones no, that's funny. I get like, the <laughs> god damn, like he had he had like he was like if someone had fed Joffrey nothing but beef for about a week <laughs> and he'd just gotten that like face mulch going on. You know, it just it, <laughs> Slam a cap over it, you're done. Well, if he had a bit of coke bloke. Maybe. Maybe he had been partying with the football stars. Well look, they're just out here getting that money. Chase that money. <laughs> but I had a big decision. It was the same time as my graduation. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. So the key to be the number one <laughs> player in Madden is to hurt your arm in baseball. <laughs> That's number one. Number two. You said you had the decision to, be to, uh, to go to your graduation well, really or go to the like tournament. So like, what did you do? I chased that money. I still got my diploma, but I chased that money. <laughs> there you go. We're out here chasing money. That's yep. awesome. Yep. Okay, now, <laughs> you know, we're chasing money. You know, you know, because I just, you know, I chased that money, and uh, that you was know, so. I, I still got a diploma, <laughs> but you know, I chased that money. Uh, it was so appropriate for that line to be in EA's. Fucking show. It was so appropriate for that line to be in any E3 show. It yeah, was just true. shockingly honest. From one sense of shock to another, you <laughs> you were genuinely angry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at Command and Conquer. Can you blame me? Mini game on iPhone and, and Android. If you could please give a cheer for one of the most formidable RTS players there is. Make some Make noise. Some noise for in control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one made some noise. People have been clapping for trailers. Yeah. But real people? Nah. Oh, there was a couple that time. Because <laughs> they know they're right on camera. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you doing, EA? <laughs> I know, right? Like, this, this is the best they've got. 
It's like they suddenly realise, no, we are EA, we are the Hindenburg, we have yeah. to fucking... <laughs> As if we've got to fuck it up somehow. <laughs> Can anyone see a mountainside? I'm looking for a nose down. Oh, oh no, is this the trailer they can... Oh. <laughs> Oh, you can't... You can't do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was the worldwide reveal of Command & Conquer Rock... Ah. That's Command... Oh! Reimagine the real-time strategy experience for mobile. We're giving players complete, continuous control of their armor. Oh, oh, let's let's have like one of the genre-defining real-time strategy games. Look, who has ever actually played a Command and Conquer game? Oh. No, I, I don't believe they're popular. They're, no, they're. they're <laughs> no. Well, no, because because this is it is RTSs that they're not played by people on consoles, so they're not real games. I'm looking for my lighter. <laughs> oh yeah, that is. Is it? Is it because EA are just fucking console fucking? Well, that's it because no one, no one likes Origin. I hate Origin. So so it's like, so hard. But because that... but because of the usage of Origin, people on PC are just less likely to buy an EA game. Have you ever tried deleting Origin? No, I never installed it. Ah, uh, it got installed on my computer by an ex. And, oh, uh, what a bitch. I know. Also, installed an Origin is bad, but... <laughs> Did you... <laughs> hey! But, um, yeah, fucking... It's fucking... It's... <laughs> now I have to edit it, you bastard. <laughs> no, just edit it in. Multiple times, looped. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> what's she gonna do? Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna bleep it and make it sound like you said something really racist. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy, Charlie. Oh, tut, tut, tut. Yeah, I hate all them whites. I was gonna say, I hate the whites. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the Origin, it took me a good, like, fucking five tries. To just Jesus. scrub it off my fucking computer. Is that like fucking going into like processes and shit like that? And if, I, uh, I've, I've wiped most of it from my memory, which was easier mm. than getting it off my computer. <laughs> and, um, fucking had claws in deep. But anyway, we're, we're getting distracted. We are, because they they showed the f this amazing phone game, the, the, the true phone experience of, of commanding and the conquering. It's just a fucking timer game. It's just... Yep. Uh... <laughs> but that's it, the, yeah. the, the field of battle is so small. That's it, it's like fucking <laughs> nine squares or you something. You had a shit. total of three options. Yeah. Are they gonna go up or down? It's, it's basically Command and Conquer uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors Edition. Mm. Still looking for my lighter. I don't know, what, what did they have next? Because I think by this point I was just in a blind fury. I think next was just fucking Anthem. Yeah. Oh, this was like... And that was the... Oh no, next was... Uh, we're so fucking charitable. Oh no, 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 do you know... Did they do The Division as well? Or was that in... Xbox? That was Xbox, I think. Okay, okay. So I'll, I'll leave off The Division for now. Also, it was Ubi. Yeah, Ubi is the division. Never mind. That's why they didn't do the division. Yeah, uh, it's basically the same. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Anthem, which flying around looks really fun. Well, look, they watched Avatar, right? Definitely watched Avatar. I turn my my rewards. I talk to some characters. Like this looks fun. Yeah. This looks like a nice movement. I like a jetpack. Uh, what do you do? 
As, a, as, as soon as gameplay starts. As soon as they landed. It looks so fucking tedious. They had, they had about as, uh, uh, <laughs> as pleasant a landing as fucking Mario in Isle Delfino. Like, <laughs> it was it was great going through the air, then you land, you're arrested, framed for a crime you didn't do, and <laughs> locked in fucking prison with a talking fire hydrant. Like, that is what Anthem is probably going to feel like. That's fair. I, I was going to make a 9-11 joke, but that was better. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I, but it's fucking Bioware, right? Yeah. Like They're doing what Bioware are known for, which is persistent multiplayer open world games. But, but it, it like, when I, it, I haven't played much of them. But when I think Bioware, I think like conversation trees and shit. Yeah. The, the, what? Um, putting your is there none of that in this? There's none of that shown. There, there was like no choice making shown. <sighs> it's just concerning. Mm. Not just that, is is that like the, the combat itself just looked fucking just not satisfying. No, yeah, it, it just like like little fucking pea shooters. Just, like, pew, 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 pew. just health bars fucking going down a tiny bit. Like no. This is not... If you're gonna go that route, don't. Well, here's the thing, like, I, I, I personally wouldn't care as much, but when you are a developer like Bioware, mm. and you have, like, laid down... Because, like, people can do different shit if they want. Yeah. That's fine. Like, fucking Blizzard went out and did, and did Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Whatever, it's a big old fucking departure, but you know they made it work. But What's it? if you're owned by EA, mm. you can't like go down just like the that route. Hopefully, they're just taking this much fucking time to develop it, in the hopes that EA will be like, ah, you know, do the do the more well received thing again. That's it. I'm, I kind of hope it fails so that they just have to be like. This is not what we're good at. Back to the fucking table, lads. Yeah. Was that the one... Saying like, that. I don't remember the, the, the actual, like, gameplay bits. Was that the one with the thing that they shot down? No, no, that was that was the division. Okay, okay. Remind me when we get to that. Yeah. <laughs> but that was EA. So, so... Oh, was that what they ended on? But yeah, that's, that's, that's what they ended on. And, and then they cut away to... What do they cut away to? Fucking, like, two, four YouTube people from places doing FIFA? Oh, God, yeah! Remember? Yeah, no, oh no, they were doing a tournament. That was it. Of it was an eight-man, eight two-a-side two tournament. And we noped the fuck out of that. Yeah. They got halfway through the first game, and, and, and that was more than enough. Yeah, like, cool, they can kick a ball. But it was, it, it, like, there was a couple of sprinklings of maybe all rightness in, a, in EA. It, it, like, there was the, the I, two I, indie games. Yeah, and, like, I don't think I, Anthem looks that awful, but... I think it's, it's tedious as shit. It, like, it, it remains to be seen. I'll be interested to see if there is more character-based stuff in it. Um, yeah. Or at least the other elements. To yeah, that's it. it, the story in the world. And, and seems you know like... what? That fucking boss fight looked pretty fucking cool. We didn't see any of it. it cut off right before it started. All right, the boss looked pretty fucking cool. <laughs> that's... that's what I'm saying. It's like the the setting and everything. Yeah, looks uh, cool. But... Art-wise, it looked. Nice. I, I, I'm yet to be sold. Yeah. Is is probably the best way to put it on that. And then yeah, Unravel Two and Sea of Solitude. Yeah. And and <laughs> fucking bless, I, I can't remember her name, but the presenter. Um, just the the the, the oh, overall the presenter. Yeah. 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 She she really tried. And of course, yeah, we got the woos for Anthem. I'm into it. You want, you want to do this with me? 
<laughs> well, it wouldn't be fun, you guys, if I told you all the secrets at once, right? Like, she... Oh, she was fucking muddling through it, man. Like, if they'd planned... If that's how they planned to do the reveal of the fucking Jedi game, fair play to her. Yeah, like, she was trying to hype it. She, she must have turned up at work and just been like, this is how we're doing it? What? <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not okay. It's going to be spectacular.